Korean caregivers in a high school. I am Konatsu. I am Shinsuke. I am Tanahiro. I am Asato. I am Takemi. The hidden gems of Moria. Do you like food? There's good news for such food lovers. There are 384 restaurants here in Moria. From yakiniku, sobo and ramen, to cafes and bars. There are restaurants for all occasions. Lunch with friends, dinner with family, and wedding parties. My recommendation is the Baraki Bagel, a bakery that specializes in bagels. I bought cheese bagel sandwich for breakfast the day before. It was very cheesy and it has an authentic taste. They used local grown pesticide free vegetables. The spinach in the sandwich was delicious. The sweetness was wild. Also, the special bagel sandwich is different every day. Hi, what is this bagel sandwich? It's Hamachi sandwich. You try it out? What do you make the future of the country? The children. Moya City puts a lot of effort into education by organizing exciting educational events. We have ongoing English camps and English forums to increase students' learning abilities and public speaking skills. Students also converse with native speakers through our friendly AOTs and DMM English conversations. Moria is also suitable for raising children. The first reason is that there are 48 kindergartens and nursery schools. The child learning generation is busy and I think it is helpful to have such a city where they can interest your children. Secondly, the rate of increase in children is the fifth highest in Japan. There are 14 children's schools like Minade in Moria City. You can meet other parents to share information on child learning and raise children with peace of mind even in unfamiliar Japanese lands. Do you know how many facts are there in Moria City? Can you guess? There are 118. A lot of facts for all kinds of people. I have 10 siblings, so it is a lot of work. However, there are many parks nearby where we can play together and unwind. I would recommend Tatsudawa Park, so it is spacious and has beautiful cherry blossom in the spring and a fountain in the summer. Moria also has rich green cover of 60%, thanks to the city's purchase and preservation of green species and shrub forest. The Moria Wild Bus Pass is a recommended spot in Moria. There are more than 100 species of migratory birds, so you can hear many birds singing. You can also visit the museum on the way. When I went, an old man put a bird on my arm. I was so thrilled that I still remember it. Do you like to camp? Raise your hand! Okay, I like camping. I often go with my family. Moria is a good place for camping. That has more than 20 campgrounds. I will introduce two of them. First, it's Kokoro's Farm. It's about 10 minutes from Moria Station. Very close, right? You can barbecue and farm there. You can dig potatoes and take them home for free. At the barbecue, you can eat freshly baked vegetables on the spot. Miss Konatsu, you've been to a barbecue there, right? Yes. What did you eat? I ate some escalions. It sounds delicious! Second is the Moria Learning Village, which is the base of the Arcus Project. The Arcus Project invites artists from all over the world to create art. I went there with my elementary school softball team. It has a plaza in front of the barbecue area where we play soccer, baseball, and tag. It was a lot of fun. Moria is a good place for camping. Don't you think? Go camp life! Please come and experience these hidden gems of Moria first time. Thank, Thank you for listening!